Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia News and other top stories we're tracking for you on Tuesday, the 25th of June. After failure to build consensus in the parliament before detailing for the first time. Locals in POJK worried over effects of deforestation and forest fires. And Nepal PM reiterates claim on Indian territories stirred up border. And now for all the details. Senior leader of India's ruling BJP, Om Villa on Tuesday, filed the nomination for the Lok Sabha Speaker as the opposition Hindi Gur fielded Congress leader K. Suresh for the post. The development came after talks between the government and opposition failed over the appointment to the post, kicking the election for the Speaker for the first time since independence. Condemning the move by the opposition, Union Minister Piyush Goel said, while the government tried to build a consensus, the Congress put a condition of deciding the Deputy Speaker post first. He said, the Speaker belongs to the entire House and not to the ruling or opposition parties. Same applies for the Deputy Speaker and thus it is not with the tradition of the Lok Sabha that the Deputy Speaker should be from a particular party. अच्छी परंपरा ये रहती कि लोकसभा निर्विरोध एक सर्वसम्मति से अध्यक्ष चुनता तो लोकसभा की भी मर्यादा अच्छी रहती सभी पक्ष का उसमें योगदान रहता While Om Billa was the speaker of the 17th Lok Sabha where he was elected unanimously by both opposition and ruling parties Congress leader K Suresh is an eight time member of parliament The election for the speaker is scheduled to be held on 26th of June, which will be followed by the address by the President of India a day later. And days after Pakistan government approved a major anti-terror operation in the country, it issued a clarification that azm e istikham is not a kinetic large-scale military operation, nor would it entail the mass displacement of the local population. In a late night statement on Monday, the Prime Minister office said the latest order is unlike the previous such operations which were conducted to physically dislodge terrorists and required mass displacement of the local population and systematic clearance of affected areas. The said operation met with criticism by opposition parties who have claimed the government planned to launch military action without consulting the parliament. Opposition JUIF chief Molana Fazlur Rahman said the government action will make the country weak. The decisions made by individuals in the apex committee are weakening the country as at every level the uniformed people are sitting in the apex committees, he said, taking a dig at PM Sharif. Defense Minister Khwaja Asif has however said the government will try to build a consensus on the matter and added that they only want to challenge and end the rising wave of terrorism. Pakistan has been able to do this in this Pakistan. We will do this in this Pakistan. And we will go to the same way. We will go to the same way. And we will go to the same way. We will go to the same way. We will never do that. Moving on. Locals in Pakistan occupied Jammu and Kashmir have raised concern over indiscriminate felling of trees and forest fires that are leading to environmental degradation and unusually warm temperatures. A report. Locals in Pakistan occupied Jammu and Kashmir have raised concern over effects of climate change in the region due to deforestation and intentional forest fires as it is leading to unusually warm temperatures. A resident expressed dismay that trees along the rivers which worked as a flood defence after glacial melt are fast disappearing. He said authorities have done nothing to mitigate the effects of natural calamities and they are left to brace the hazardous consequences. 
کشمیر میں یہ جنگلات کی کٹائی اور جنگلات میں آگ لگانے کی وجہ سے اس عرصہ میں سب سے زیادہ گلوبل وارمنگ بڑھتی جا رہی ہے جس کی وجہ سے جو ہے گرمیاں اور سردیاں جو ہیں وہ بہت بری طرح اثر انداز ہوئی ہیں اب گرمیوں کا موسم جو ہے وہ اگست نومبر تک جاتا ہے نومبر تک پہلے جو کہ اگست کے شروع میں ہی سردی شروع پڑنا شروع ہو جاتی تھی یہ جو جنگلات کی کٹائی اور یہ جو ٹورسٹ وغیرہ آتے ہیں یہ جو ماحول میں آلودگی وغیرہ کرتے ہیں کوئی گند وغیرہ پھینکتے ہیں یا دریاؤں میں چیزیں پھینکتے ہیں جس سے جو ہے گندگی پھیلتی ہے یہ آزاد کشمیر کے خطہ میں اس کو بھی ایک تاکہ پراپر وے سے روکا جا سکے تاکہ یہ جو ماحول ہے قدرتی ماحول ہے اس کو بچایا جا سکے لوکل سندھ پی او جے کے ہیو لانگ بلیمڈ دیٹ پاکستان پیز لٹل اٹینشن ٹو دیئر پریسنگ پرابلمس وائل اٹ ایکسپلوئٹس نیچرل ریسورسز ان دی ریجن The International Monetary Fund on Monday said it has concluded a second review of Bangladesh's bailout program, giving the country immediate access to about $928 million in loans for economic support and about $220 million to combat climate change. In a statement, IMF Deputy Managing Director said, while the Bangladesh is navigating multiple macroeconomic challenges, The program performance has been broadly on track and the authorities remain committed to undertaking necessary policy actions and reforms. The $4.7 billion bailout to Bangladesh was approved by the IMF Executive Board in January 2023. The global lender after the first review in December had provided about $468.3 million to Bangladesh and about $221 million in support of its climate change agenda. The fresh installment is likely to be released in next two days. And Sri Lanka expects to sign a debt restructuring agreement with a group of creditor nations on Wednesday. Foreign Minister Ali Sabri has informed a major step forward to pull the country out of a severe economic crisis. Sabri told Reuters that President Ranil Vikramasinghe provided an update on the debt restructuring to members of his cabinet in a meeting late on Monday. The deal will allow creditor nations to recommence lending to the island nation which...